My name is Meg Knappenberger and I am an artist. I graduated from KU in 2004 with a degree in graphic design. It was a career I pursued successfully until about five years ago when I did about the craziest thing you can do with a career and I put it all aside to become a full-time artist. I began painting feverishly, trying different things, pivoting around wildly. And one day I found myself in the Capitol building in Topeka where I came across a photo of Dr. Naismith. It inspired me to paint a portrait of him for my husband for Father's Day. My husband is a diehard KU basketball fan, by the way. And the piece caught on in our friend group and I began selling prints of it. I even sold the original out from under him when someone offered to buy it, which is something I still have not lived down. <laughs> I sold a print to a fellow Jayhawk, Michael Wilson, who at the time owned a watch shop in Kansas City that had a license with KU. And it opened the door to a new project. Over the next three months, I began creating six large Jayhawk paintings, one of each. And in addition to layers of paint and texture, I also actually incorporated real limestone rock chalk right into the paint from Higgins Stone, which is a quarry just right down the road from Lawrence. I spent a lot of time on campus getting inspired for the project, and I even might have snuck under the ropes in the field house to photograph the numbers on the backs of the wooden seats to inspire the style of the year numbers that are on the bottom left-hand corners of each piece. But doing these paintings was an enormous leap of faith. I had to first create them and all the necessary plans and paperwork in order to ask for permission from KU's licensing department to sell prints of them. And this is a pretty intense process for anyone. Over those months spent creating the project, my bank account steadily dwindled. The day I found out KU had said yes to licensing, I had 28 cents in my bank account and I am one of the only artists they've ever granted licensing to. A few months later, I ended up selling all six original paintings as a set for $150,000 to an avid KU couple, which was one of the biggest art deals in Kansas City that year. And I also began selling limited edition print sets of all six that I individually hand signed and numbered. And this past holiday season, I sold the 152nd and final set. And I continue to sell prints of the Jayhawks and all my other KU work every day to Jayhawks all over the world. This project is so deeply meaningful to me, not only because it was the catapult that I needed to begin and build a successful career as an artist, but because of the way it has connected me to other Jayhawks. This project for me began with a spark of inspiration and inside that little spark was 20 plus years of pride and love for KU. My time on campus, our friends, Autumn and Lawrence, a national championship, and meeting my husband there, a person I'd meet in the first few weeks at school and not fall in love with for another six years and then not marry until 10 years later. We now have two little future Jayhawks. And that whole experience of mine went into making this project and it is still summoned in an instant when I look at it. But the coolest thing for me has been when another Jayhawk somewhere in the world sees it and in that instant, it conjures up their whole unique KU experience, sometimes encapsulating generations of their family. And all of a sudden we are connected on either side of it. And that is why I paint. I do have a little surprise today for One Day One KU. I actually held back the 152nd and final limited edition set to create a scholarship to KU School of Fine Arts. It will help to support students from diverse backgrounds. My husband Tori and I hope that this is the beginning of our legacy. We're still young, we still have little kids, but we wanted to start right where we are and then continue adding to this fund over time. 
To me, this is the perfect way to connect the dots back to where it all started for me and to give back. The opening bid of $5,000 has been met and the highest bidder as of midnight tonight will receive the final set, number 152 of 152. And 100% of the bid will go towards funding this scholarship. You can visit megmakesart.com slash one day one KU to place your bid. Thank you for supporting KU today and every day. Rock chalk. <laughs>